plea. And if you plead guilty, we can just about let you go and you come back. He said no, but the second time he came back, she said to him, if you plead, if you plead guilty right now, I will let you go. And the young man said no, because I didn't do the crime. He didn't do it. Folks, we see people coming home every day after doing 15, 20, 30 years only to find out that they didn't commit the crime. They didn't find it out 30 years ago. The district attorney had it right there. But the district attorney unfortunately is not interested in the truth. They're interested in convictions. How is it that when every district attorney leaves the office, whether it's the Bronx, Manhattan, Staten Island, Queens, they have to have a 98 to 100 percent conviction rate to get a job? That tells you they're not interested in the truth. Khalif Browder was and falsely accused. We have falsely convicted. Now we got falsely accused. A new column. We need the truth. To follow conviction, not conviction and then the truth. Yeah. Because if we get conviction, right, and then the truth, that means the person didn't do it. Let's bring forth the truth in the courtroom and then let the jury decide. Don't put pressure on people, and especially poor people, while they're in jail to plead. Because there's two ways a district attorney gets a conviction. When you plea bargain, and when you lose at a trial. And if anybody here plays cards, you know it's 52 cards in a deck. How can you play cards with someone when they hold all the cards? This stupid law needs to be changed. I stand before you as a retired NYPD detective that is telling you a lot. I, don't, I just haven't come here. All right, I've been speaking out, you look my name up, I've been speaking out with all the injustice that the NYPD has been inflicted on the minority community. Because the person that said before me, sometimes you got to stand up. And let me tell you, I know the person who stood up before me. And he is going to get some slack. He is, I'm telling you. But I hope to God that when it comes that I have a lot of people out there to stand behind me. Because we can't continue to be afraid. Yeah. What happened to Khalif could have been prevented. And we, we, if we don't do nothing about it, the, the others that are in there now and the others that are coming up are gonna be collateral damage, folks. Yes. I'm telling you, we have to do something about this. And before I close, just just last year, in April, there was a female district attorney in the Bronx that had a Hispanic man on Rikers Island for eight months for a rape he didn't commit. And the district attorney was told after a week after the young man was arrested, the detective, the sergeant who investigated the case came in and told the district attorney, listen, the lady recanted her story. He didn't write her. Here, here's a statement. And she took it and said, okay, and threw it in the folder and left it there for eight months. When the case came before a judge, her supervisor said, didn't I tell you to let this man go? And she said, oh yeah, but I forgot where the paperwork was. But the young man was asked to take, to plead guilty. That's what she was hoping for. She was hoping for what the eight months he was there that he would plead guilty. That was eight months. Khalif Browder did three years and 15 days. And when the judge reprimanded her, the judge got reprimanded. And the judge is supposed to make sure that everything goes accordingly in the courtroom. So when this judge saw something outrageously wrong and shouted her out because he said, you are never to ever come before my bench again because I can never trust you.
The Bronx District Attorney, our Bronx District Attorney, Robert Johnson, did nothing to this DA lady, assistant DA. But then he went and had the judge reprimanded. He's coming up for election. Don't we need to get rid of him. Oh, yes. All right? And whether he was black, white, Irish, or whatever, when they stand for this, we need to get rid of him. And Bronx and the Brooklyn, Brooklyn folks, Brooklyn has open and early discovery. You see what Ken Thompson is doing out there. People are coming home. He just did something, some initiative where people got warrants in Brooklyn that they had outstanding for a year or two. They went to a church and got it dismissed. Why can't the other four boroughs do the same thing? Ask yourselves this. Why can't? Why can't D.A. Johnson, who's black, why can't he do this too? Ask yourselves that, folks. God bless Khalid Crowder's family. And if there's anything we can do, a discovery for justice.